Hello friends, in this tutorial we are going to learn yet another type of infinite series but this series is not related with the geometric series or arithmetic or geometric series but it is related with the binomial expansion. Let's see the following series. You can see in this series that the first term is 1, the second term is minus 1 over 4 and the second term is again repeating in the third term as well and multiplied with another number that is 3 by 8. And again, the second term is again repeating in the third term and multiplied with another number. And this series goes on and this will give us a number. Let's see another example. In this number also, the first term is 1, the second term is 1 by 3 and it is repeating in the third term. Multiplied with another number that's 3 by 6. And it goes on like this. So this type of series does not have any common differences or common ratios so they do not belong to the geometric series or any of the polynomial geometric series but we can calculate the infinite series by using the binomial expansion by considering that these series can be expressed in the form of this series as that it is in the form of 1 plus x to the power of n so before starting this video I would like to inform you that you must have the knowledge of binomial expansion. So if you have learned this series in high schools, then you can do the calculation easily. So I am using a simple method for this and it is only for fast calculation. So um, the first thing is understanding and after you understand how the series works, then you can apply this result. So this uh, method is only for fast calculation. And so actually no much mathematics is involved in it, it's just a trick to solve the problem in fast way. So as you have already known this is only for the series that can be expressed in the form of the binomial series that's in the form 1 plus x to the power of n. So let's go to the example. So to solve such type of problems we just need the first three terms of the series. So we take the first term, second term and third term like this. Then let's look at the first, the second term that is 1 over 3. So this 1 over 3 is again repeating in this third term that is 1 over 3. So what we do is we replace this number with minus 2. That means 1 by 3 is repeating in this case so this 1 by 3 is replaced with minus 2 like this. In next step what we do is we put the bracket and we bring this number or this second term in the numerator of the power and what we do is we bring these number excluding 1 in the denominator part of the ind index like this so this 1 by 3 goes in the numerator and this whole part goes in the denominator and if we calculate this result that will be our final answer so on simplifying this 1 plus 1 by 3 minus 2 into 3 by 6 will give 1 by 3 1 by 3 as it is and by simplifying this we will get minus 2 over 3 and on further simplification this will be the result and this will give root under 3 which is the required result so this infinite series is equal to root under 3 so let's do another example so this is our series in this series also the first term is 1, the second term is minus 1 by 4 and these terms are repeating and it gets multiplied with another number and again these whole third term is again repeating in the another term and multiplied by some another number so we can say that it, it can be expressed in the form of binomial expansion so at the first step we take the first three terms like this then I am expressing the third term in such a way that it also contains the second term since minus 1 by 4 is there so I am just replacing the plus sign with minus 1 by 4 times minus 3 by 6 now let's see these two numbers so these are the same so what we do is we replace this number that is same as this number with minus 2 so we replaced it then in the next step we put the bracket and this minus 4 will go in the numerator and the whole these terms will go in the denominator part and by 
calculating the whole expression we can get the answer so by simplifying the middle expression we can get 3 by 2 minus 1 by 4 as it is and the solution and this will result in 1 by 2 and on further simplification this will be our result and which will give square root of 2 over 3 so it is just a simple easy method of doing uh, or calculating the result in sort way so it's mostly used uh, if it comes in some type of multiple choice questions or objective questions where you have a little time to do the work so thanks for watching